Hello, and welcome to my world. Today I'm going to share with you how you can be able to engage your audience on stage. Maybe you are on stage, you are speaking, and you want to get your audience engaged. There are some things that you can do. Don't be a boring speaker. Learn these techniques to be able to get your audience engaged. If you are new to this channel, why don't you like it, subscribe, and let's keep going. But one way that you can get your audience engaged is to ask questions. Ask questions. And once you ask questions, you will get your audience responding to your questions. Number two is you can also allow your audience to ask you questions. You can get them engaged. Number three is that you can take them through icebreakers. So when I'm speaking and I feel like the like energy in the room is down, I can actually ask someone to come out on stage and take my audience through some icebreakers. I can equally do some icebreakers, take them through some icebreakers. Sometimes I let them clap. And one of the team building icebreakers like I do, team building clap is I let them clap one. Uh, two, three, four, five. They add the fingers, and you see that like they are energized. And this activity is just a team building club. And I ask them questions: Which one did you clap? Did you put a lot of energy without any effort? And you didn't get any sound. They say one. Which one did you clap? With uh, you got a lot of sound without any energy. They say five. I tell them that. It's good to work in teams. If you are five, you can make some noise. The world will get to hear about you. But if you are one, you keep clapping. So this one activity that I take them through. And there are a lot of icebreakers that you can take your audience through. As a speaker, you need to know that these are some of the things, like icebreakers that you can get your audience to go through. Another way you can get your audience to engage is to put them through some activities. So you can let them form groups and let them do one or two activities for you to be able to evaluate or see. But if you are speaking like an, at, on a main event, you may not be able to put them through those activities like group activities. So instead, your eye contact can get your audience engaged. So you can use your eye contact, go directly to them. That's why some speakers, while they are speaking, sometimes they get closer to the audience and they talk to them. So they are presence. The way you do, you use your hand gestures, your gestures can help you also to be able to reach out and get your audience engaged. So the other way, one of the ways that I also do to get my audience engaged is that I ask them to repeat after me. So if the audience are busy doing other things or the attention is not with me what I would ask them to do is repeat after me and you say I I am they will say I am powerful say powerful I am great they will respond I am great I am unique I am unique when you say I am a billionaire say I am a billionaire you see everybody shout I am a billionaire so you see that you are getting taking them through activities and they are getting back to, with you, and you can be able to get their attention and get them engaged through that. So these are some of the ways that you can get your audience engaged. I'm going to share with you more ways. So follow me. Why don't you follow me? You in particular, you don't like following me. Always watch my videos, but you don't follow me. Why? What did I do to you? I'm just kidding you. Follow me for more. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. Follow me on YouTube, on TikTok. Just type my name, Ibrahim Mustafa, on all the platforms and you will see me. Thank you. I believe in you.